There we go. That's better. All right. Um, my last batch of cookies is in the oven. So it is time to roll out my English muffins because they need to rise again before I cook them. Snag, I thought I had cornmeal. Can't find it, so I must have gotten rid of it. Uh, so we're going to do this without the cornmeal. Hopefully it's fine. I don't think it will be that big of a deal. But if it fails, you know why. Here we go. Okay. Uh, dough is rolled out. This is a little interesting. Definitely different than the last time I did it where I used like a ring cutter to cut them out. But I'm going to follow the recipe and see how it goes. So I'm going to cover these now and leave them for an hour and a half to two hours to rise again. I'm just nervous. Like they're, I don't know. We'll see. Because <laughs> they should be flatter. We'll see how they rise. Maybe they'll rise wide and not high. I don't know. Anyways, uh, we are back. Our, our, my English muffins have puffed up, gotten really big. So this one is huge. I don't know if you can tell how big that is really. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, um, so I'm glad that they rows out and a little bit up so we're gonna get a pan hot some butter and it's time to cook these fingers crossed that we don't mess it up now <laughs> or I'm gonna have to start all over for breakfast not going great the I apparently did not have enough flour on my baking sheet so they're like so all like super stuck to the bottom of the pan so when I move them they lose a lot of the air so I'm hoping that they still cook fine even though they're gonna look a little weird and they still taste okay but I don't know. Last time I did this was so much more successful. This time, this recipe is not my friend. I'll still link it below. I mean, you can put more flour down like I did. This is probably where the cornmeal would have helped, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. I wish I would have saved the recipe I used the last time because those ones worked out really well. So hopefully, hopefully they bake or they cook okay. And they still taste fine, but I'm a little bummed that they're all kind of sticking to the pan. So, fingers crossed. Okay, we, I just have a few left in the pan. I'm gonna cut one in half here and toast it and see how it tastes. Ah. Okay, it smells right. The texture seems right. Here we go. Mmm! Mm-hmm. That's an English muffin. 
it's not as it's fluffier than like a store-bought muffin Um, I'm sure if I had toasted it in the toaster and not just in on a pan, maybe it would have gotten a little bit toastier and not and then not been so fluffy. But it worked. Ooh, I'm dripping jelly on my hand. I'm so excited. I was so worried there for a little bit. So I'm so glad that they turned out. I'm gonna clean up this mess and then we're gonna be on to the next thing. Now I'm gonna make the filling that I'm gonna use for the empanadas. Uh, I'm gonna do mushrooms, corn, black beans, and a little bit of onion and get that all prepped and ready so I can cook it and cool it while I do the dough and then make some empanadas. And some, and I have rice I'm gonna do as well. It's like a pan rice. I think it's gonna be really interesting to see how that cooks. So for now, it's time to chop. Got this going here. I'm just gonna let it keep cooking a little bit, develop some flavor, and then we're gonna let that cool. Start some empanada dough. Empanadas are filled, egg washed, and ready to go in the oven. Fingers crossed. A few of them cracked. Me, it happens. Um, I think they're gonna turn out okay though. I think they're gonna be okay. So we'll be good. Now I know next time to like, cause this is the biggest circle cutter I have, and so. I need to remember next time to roll the dough thicker and then cut so that when I roll it again to get it bigger, it doesn't get as thin because that was the problem I was having is getting really, really thin and so they were cracking in some places. So noted for next time, but I think they're gonna turn out okay. So let's bake. The sun has gone down, so my light is quite different now. Empanadas are almost done. This is the rice that then is gonna bake for an hour. 
We'll see how it turns out. It's supposed to be like a Spanish rice. I'm sure that is not at all how you really make Spanish rice, but this is what the internet is telling me to do. So that's what we're going with. Um, but yeah, that's everything that we have to make for today. So rest of my evening is just hanging out. All right, empanadas are out. They look awesome. Nice and golden brown. None of the seals. This one busted in the back a little bit, but all the seals are intact. They look really good. All right, rice is done. It's over here. I fluffed it up a bit. It smells good. Haven't tasted it yet. And then got some of my empanadas here and some hot sauce. I realized I didn't think this through all the way because empanadas usually come with a dipping sauce. And I did not plan for that. So all I really have is hot sauce. So I don't have stuff to make salsa and I don't have like sour cream to make anything like that. So we're just going to use hot sauce. Works for me. But let's give it a go. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. I think I maybe have my water, too much water in there. It's a little mushier than I think I would like it to be. But the flavor's right. That's kind of amazing. I'm gonna have to remember, I'm gonna use that one. That's good. Kinda sucks that it takes an hour to bake, but also super easy to deal with because you just put everything in the pan and go. Mm -hmm. Yep, solid life choice, Jen. All right, let's empanada it up here. Mm. Definitely needs a dipping sauce, but turned out really good. So, so far week one, everything is a success, even when we were worried about it. So that's a good way to start off <laughs> a month long challenge. Um, so now I'm going to eat, as it is 6 p.m. and I have been cooking all day, aside from my break, uh, and do some design work. So, so far so good for week one, we're to go got leftover empanadas and rice for dinners and lunches and I've got salad stuff for lunch as well and then Thursday we're gonna make pizza with my mom I got English muffins for breakfast and here we go October 1st challenge is off to a good start super happy also try both of these things links in the description delicious at my brother and sister-in-law's watching my nephew with my mom we're making soup and rolls and I forgot my tripod so I haven't filmed most of it but I will keep you updated everybody it is technically the first day of week two Sunday um, but I wanted to recap so the last I've been at my brother and sister-in-law's as you recognize this is not my home um, for the since Thursday and so I haven't been filming a ton because I've been helping my mom take care of my nephew while they are out of town on a wedding um, I show I filled some of us making soup super good I will probably making that a lot this winter mushroom wild rice could probably easily add chicken to it but I can't eat chicken so we left that part out um, I, again recipes will be down below and then Friday night we make pizza so you can see here so I made the dough this turned out really really good and then I made the sauce as well the dough was super easy. I was really nervous about the pizza. I haven't made pizza for years because the last time I tried, I failed miserably. 
Granted, I was living in a duplex with my brother and our oven wasn't the best, but, oh, that washer behind me is probably pretty loud. Let's go, let's go out here to finish recapping. Um, oh, but then I lost all my light. Let's just stand here. Uh, um, so yeah, the last time I tried to make pizza, it was an epic failure. So I was super nervous because not only did I have to make the crust, I also made the sauce, which I think you could probably consider a condiment, but I had the stuff to do it. So I did it anyways. It turned out really, really good. So I'm happy with both of those things. We just topped the pizza with caramelized onions and mushrooms. It was delicious. And I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to eat it for breakfast right now. <laughs> Um, but so far, all of week one was a total success. Nothing went crazy. I was nervous about a lot of things. Um, my parents helped me finish off the English muffins. They said they were good. So I'm going to hang out here with my nephew who's napping right now um, until my brother and sister-in-law get home. And then we got to go grocery shopping and get everything for week two. But so far, I'm really happy with how it went and really impressed with how I pulled off a lot of these recipes. So the pizza... The pizza dough makes two 12 inch crusts, and but they're really thin. You can see this. I mean, it was delicious, but it was just thin. So if you, I think next time I wanna try it and not do two separate crusts and see how it bakes as like a thicker one. But what I ended up doing was I made one pizza with the mushrooms and onions on it. And then the other one, we just made into, that's not, these are like the only pieces that are left, like the ends. Um, I just put a little bit of olive oil and then cheese on and made like a cheese bread and then dipped that in the leftover sauce that I had. So, um, super good. We'll definitely be making everything again. So week one a success. Sorry I didn't film the pizza making and really the soup. It was just too hard here and I didn't want to force my mom to be on camera and on my nephew. Um, it's not my call to make whether or not he's on camera. Um, so and it was just hectic and crazy and I forgot my tripod and so I just said we're not going to stress about it but we got some clips of the soup got some cold pizza shots we are good to go so like I said I'm going to go edit this footage now and then prep for week two